Hi everyone, welcome back to the third video of ArcGIS GeoBeam video series. This demo will highlight the steps needed to create your first ArcGIS GeoBeam application. Before moving to our demo, let's talk about the required licensing model. ArcGIS GeoBeam is an extension of ArcGIS Online. For creating ArcGIS GeoBeam projects and apps, we need ArcGIS Online Creator or GIS Professional Advanced or a Standard User Type. If you use the Creator User Type, you need to have an ArcGIS GeoBeam User Type extension. But if your User Type is a GIS Professional Advanced or a Standard, you don't need to have an ArcGIS GeoBeam User Type extension because the license is included in this type of user types. Of course, you also need to have a name user logging to Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360. So you can access BIM models and CAD files in the cloud repository. Now, with this information, let's jump to the demo and look at the steps needed to create your ArcGIS GeoBeam app. ArcGIS GeoBeam is accessed by the app launcher in ArcGIS Online, which takes you to the ArcGIS GeoBeam project page. Here, you can create a new project using the Create New button or open an existing project. You are required to have the project's name, description, and thumbnail image. You can edit all this information at any time. Next, you create a new account to connect to your project in Autodesk BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud account, where you pull your project's documents from it. In the Tools tab, we can select and run the tools concurrently or individually. Locate Engineering Documents tool scans the folders in BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud and georeferences the drawings and models. The Locate Issue tool scans through all your project issues and converts them into the point features so they can be viewed and analyzed in a map, scene, or dashboard. Anytime you update your Revit models and engineering drawings in BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud, you should rerun these tools to update your app. The Create BIM Project Boundaries tool creates a boundary polygon per project. In the Links tab, you will select your map or web scene containing your building scene layers that you published from ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Online. You can find your content by using filters such as ownership and group. Then you have option to manually link these building scene layers to your documents in BIM 360 or Autodesk Construction Cloud, for example, to your drawings, models, and PDF files. You can browse your documents, select multiple files, and even preview them before creating the link. Once the connection is created, it will appear in the Link Explorer window. This is great, but that's a manual work and it takes time to apply your documents to each feature in the web scene. However, with the link rules, you can choose one of the scene layers from the drop-down list and pick the share view URL field that it's added in the attribute table of the building scene layer in ArcGIS Pro. This creates rules for all the components within the layer to have access to your document in the BIM 360. This way reduces the effort of doing it manually. Clicking the play button on the rule opens an Autodesk Forge Viewer pane and the associated model and it zooms to the selected features within the scene. Once you have finished playing the links to all your building scene layers, you have completed the setup of your GeoBeam project. Now we have begin to create GeoBeam apps. Here we have access to the two types of app template, viewer and issues dashboard app. Next, we select the web map and web scene for GeoBeam app. 
After each web map or web scene is added, a pop-up dialog will appear to ask if you would like to add the project layers such as issues, documents, schedules, and BIM project boundaries to your chosen map, or if you would like the ArcGIS GeoBIM to make a copy of your existing model or scene and use that for your project instead. Next, you can select the widgets you want it to be available to the viewer within the app. Make sure you save your changes and now you can use and share your app with the member of your team. I hope this demo provided the enough tips for you to create your first ArcGIS GeoBeam application. In the next demo, I will highlight the resources that you can use to learn more about the ArcGIS GeoBeam app. Have a lovely day, everyone.